Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to build a budget gaming setup using only Amazon. And even though it's a budget setup, it turned out looking fire and you can easily copy it. So hit the like button and let's start. Starting with peripherals, at first I wanted to buy a mouse and keyboard separately, but then I came across the $77 Razer Power Up bundle. So basically it's a bundle with a gaming mouse, keyboard and headset. It might look pricey at first, but if you think about it, for $77 we are getting solid quality devices from a known brand. It turns out that other than this one, Razer has several bundle variations, and given the fact that sometimes they are on sale, I think it is worth checking them. The bundle got delivered pretty fast, inside we have three boxes taped together. Starting with Razer Viper Gaming Mouse, it's a 5G optical mouse with a 16K DPI, weights only 70 grams, has 8 programmable buttons and a pretty long braided cable. It is made mostly of plastic but it has kind of a rubber finish on the sides which makes the grip feel nice. Next is the keyboard, Razer Sinosa Lite. It is a good looking keyboard with Razer Mecha Membrane keys and a good backlight. I've been actually using the same keyboard for a while now and so far it turned out to be very durable. And in the last box we have a Razer Kraken X Lite gaming headset, which goes with the Razer 7.1 surround sound voucher code and the headphone splitter. The headset itself feels nice, it has a good microphone which is easy to adjust and the overall materials quality looks good. I think this bundle is a fair value for the price. I got great first impressions from the packaging and the quality of the materials. The only thing that might be a con for some people is wires, but it's a matter of taste. To set the color theme, I bought this large mouse pad for $15. Size is roughly 31 by 15 inches, the material feels very nice and the print quality looks crisp. It is also available in various styles, you can check with the link below. Now for the monitor, I got the 30 inch ultra wide 1080p curved gaming monitor from a company called Scepter. It is one of the best selling monitors on Amazon, so I think it is worth checking it out. Delivery was pretty fast, let's start unboxing. Inside we have 48 watt power adapter, display port cable, monitor stand that also for a stand, a monitor itself, user manual and a power cord with the mount screws. They even included a screwdriver. So here's what inside except the monitor. Let's start building a stand. It is very easy thanks to the well written manual. On the back of the monitor we have a power port, 3 HDMI, display port and an audio jack. Those video ports have different frequency support. 200Hz is possible only with a display port. Found this table in the user manual which covers it all. This monitor also has two speakers and RGB light lanes on the back and angle also could be adjusted. Here is how it looks from the front and here is the setup we have so far. I like the monitor design, I think it fits this setup pretty well. I decided to pair all of this with my desk mid PC. Recently upgraded it in this video so it's my daily PC at the time. You can see the specs, once I booted in Windows I got a Razer Synapse reinstalled. In Synapse you can configure a mouse and keyboard and also set the colors. The screen picked up a 200Hz with no problem. Speakers are also working and they sound surprisingly good for the monitor speakers. And if you boost them with a Razer surround sound, it's gonna sound even better. RGB on the back is more like a decoration, but it can create some backlight at night. There are a couple of light modes and colors in settings. I also came across the multi windows feature in the settings. So what this does is displays two video sources at the same time. I connected PS4 to an HDMI port to test it out and it works pretty well. There are settings for position and size, I cannot think of any actual use for it in gaming, but it is pretty cool. So let's get to the games. In Fortnite, I had to manually set the resolution to 2560 by 1080. That's what our monitor is, and with low settings, performance mode getting 180 to 200 FPS. With VSync enabled, it's a stable 200 FPS most of the time. The game feels amazing, and with the additional horizontal space, I feel more engaged in the game. In Apex Legends, with the competitive settings, seeing stable 200 fps at some locations, but mostly frame rate is around 150 fps. The 1660 Super that I have here is not really able to push that 200 fps all time, but it is pretty smooth gaming experience. By the way, the colors on the monitor look nice, it is a VA panel and the colors are less saturated under some viewing angles, which will be bad for color grading work, but it's not noticeable in games. Speaking of peripherals, I have no complaints, they all keep the quality bar high. I really like the mouse, 
mouse. I'm currently using a Logitech G05 in my setup, but this Viper mouse feels a lot more natural in hand. Meanwhile, CSGO runs at under 400 FPS and feels very smooth. You can come across some games that do not have ultra wide support, for example Elden Ring, so it's left to play with a black borders on the sides or use some third party software to stretch the game. Same with the streaming platforms, you can get a browser extension and stretch the image if the platform does not have a native ultra wide support. I like how the setup turned out, the price of the setup without PC is $350. It was my first time playing on an ultra wide monitor and I definitely liked it. The wide screen also makes some web browsing more convenient. By the way, make sure to subscribe to see more videos like this. As always, you can find all links in the description and I see you in my next videos.